truth or die line with Iggy and B5679. Let's get it. Hey, Gabby 579, welcome back to Get Truth to Die Line. Fall into the vibe real quick. Fall into my vibe, baby. Today I'm gonna teach you something, man. I got a valuable lesson to teach anyone out there that's facing time. If you're about to go to prison, if you're about to go to court, if you're about to do a county sentence, it doesn't matter. If you're about to do jail time, tune in, learn something. I'm also going to uh, tell you guys what happened in Chicago. Not that anyone asked me, but I'm going to prove the facts real quick. Alright, baby. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, it's Iggy MB579. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome to the show. We have two main focuses right here, all right? Two main focuses. We come from one side of the, you can call conspiracy theories, crazy people. I don't care what you call me. We, One side of this is focusing on the truth, finding the truth, exposing the evil entities and um, elites that run this world. The second part of this channel is a prison channel. Um, I don't glorify the lifestyle. I basically try to hand down my experiences to give a blessing, hoping that someone can learn from it, you know, one way or another. Um, and I'm just sharing my story. Now, as you can see, inmate MB5279, Pennsylvania Department of Corrections. That's me. Okay. Whatever. That's the prison shit. I'm going to tell you guys what happened in Chicago real quick. Uh... It's crazy that this shit is six years old and they've been sending me mail. That's the attorney. Like, these, these dudes went hard, man. Over a six-year-old case. Drug defense team. my name crossed out my address case number charge number cook county which is chicago you know basically when you're accused of a crime involving drugs the outcome can affect your future job prospects chances for job promotions school admissions immigration status and personal reputation forever and this was their um pitch to me to try to hire them as my attorney um, oh, I've been getting tons of mail, man. Bam. Tons of, tons of, tons of lawyers, um, have been in contact with me, but the case is closed, the case is dismissed, it's gone, it's done with. Alright, now, as everyone knows, um, that been here, my subscribers, uh, family, um, once again, I apologize for disappearing like that. Let me explain real quick what happened. Um, six years ago, I had caught a dope case in Chicago. Okay, got caught with nine grams. Da 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 da. da. Okay, I end up getting probation, two years probation. I come back to Pennsylvania. All right, the extradition laws don't work the same with Illinois and Pennsylvania because Pennsylvania is a Commonwealth state. Now Pennsylvania will work with Virginia, Massachusetts, and Kentucky. Because those are Commonwealth states. Otherwise, Chicago would have to come and get me. All right, in Pittsburgh, which they wasn't worried about me. The the crime rate out there, uh, dope cases out there. It's there's so many of them that I was just a petty little case. You know what I mean? Nine grams in Pennsylvania, I'd go straight to prison. In Chicago, they're like, ah man, give him a slap on the wrist. It's his first time in trouble. Give him two years probation. So I come back to Pittsburgh and I go to prison. I do four years in prison in PA. I get out. Recently, I just traveled to Chicago. I got pulled over. Okay. 
when I got pulled over, I gave my license. You know what I mean? They said I had my high beams on. My high beams weren't on. They ran my name. They said, yo, you, 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 Mr. Blah, 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 you got a, you got a warrant. I was like, I got a warrant? I was like, bro, you see my ID? I'm from PA, man. I got a warrant out here. I just got out here. I'm in a rental. They're like, you got a warrant from da 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 I was like, what? I'm th Dude, I was sick. All right, so I go to the bank. I see the judge. And before I seen the judge, an attorney, a public defender, come over to me and was like, you ran from your probation. I was like, I didn't run from my probation. I was in prison in Pennsylvania. Check your dates. Get your facts right. I didn't run from my probation. I was in prison. I can't report if I'm in the penitentiary. So it took them about two weeks to get all the dates right. I go back to court, go back in front of the judge. They dismiss everything. Everything's gone. Case, well, not dismissed. They, they instead of reinstating my probation, they closed my probation. Time served, basically. Like, like I gave them their two years of paper. I was in prison for some of it. So they just, they let me go. That's when I got out of jail in Chicago. Um, actually, I'll show you guys a video right now. Um... I'll show you guys a video right now when I got out. I want to show you a couple things. And I'm going to have to do it through this, unfortunately. Um, I can't screen record it because it's on this new phone. So, um, <laughs> here it goes. The day I got out of Chicago. But I actually have a valuable lesson. Stay tuned because I have a lesson to teach somebody that might be going to prison. I can't uh, pause this. So, we got to do it like this. Alright. Yeah. Welcome to Chicago. Just got out. Motherfucker got shot right in front of me. So. I think we all know what that means, right? I'm staying. <laughs> no. Go, man. Is this the right video? Huh? Whoa. Alright, man. We safe out here. Oh, Hold on, guys. My bad. Now look at the top of that right there. That's where you see it. See it? On the iPhone, it tells you where you recorded. Chicago, Kedzie Plaza, Kedzie Plaza, that's in the hood, um, I, let me, um, let me say that differently, when I got out of jail, got the rental, about to leave Chicago, and some dude had got shot in that area, um, I didn't see anything, someone got shot right there, where I was, um, pretty bad murder scene, I ended up getting pulled over again. <laughs> I got pulled over again. They were looking for someone. Ran my ID to let me go. I got pulled over again the day I got out. But, uh, uh, um, I want to show you guys something else. Real quick before we get this lesson in. This is what I did when I first got back to Pittsburgh. Check out what I ran into. You will never... It, it, it's unbelievable what I what I ran what I ran into. Um, that ain't it. Wait a minute, is this it? This is it. Now, unfortunately, there's no volume, but check this shit out. Thanks, guys, for all the welcome back. See that? Well, I ain't gonna show the rest, but dude had the Freemason logo on his windshield, so I had to uh, chase him down. I, I can't show the rest though. All right, nine minutes in. Hopefully, uh, you didn't leave because here's here now. Here's the thing. All right, I'm gonna let you guys hear this first. A prison beef carried over to the street for me. Um, 
I'm going to explain after you listen. I ran into this dude yesterday on the street. I recorded it. Okay, um, you can tell it's me. There's no there's no um, video to it, but there's volume, and you can hear. You you, you guys know my voice, um, and anyone new listening right now would know. Um, I'm going to let you guys hear it first, and then I'm going to tell the story. So, let's do it. No video. You sent me money, bro. It was, I don't know nothing about that. I paid dude right there. Then that you, that jail ain't closed for months after that, bro. Come on, cuz you did some fucking snake shit. I, I cleared your you neck. Sub so, or something, cuz? I like, want a sub, cuz? Like, I mean, what you mean? I got into when he up there, buddy. He said he never Man, got paid. Man, boys didn't come there for months, bro. We was down that jail for months, bro. bro they was gonna through. kill you, cuz, and I got you out of it, and you fucked me over. How the fuck you over? Cause you were supposed to send me money, though, bro. Matter of fact, forget that. Was, right, right, forget that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What was the deal, though, bro? That you sent me the money, and I cleared that debt for you, and they, they, was, they was letting you I go. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't sent it to me, bro. Because he said you never paid him. Oh, I paid you, right? I paid him right in front of you. I gave him the sub in front of you. No, I left the next day, remember? Bro, I paid him right there. Because you came down that night. You said you handled it for me. No. Which I believe you did. I did it right there, bro. Right there. 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 Right all right, so here's what happened, okay? I was in prison with that dude, all right? All right, so um, how do you start this story like this? So, a dude that you heard, okay, is in a gang called the Pale Kings, okay? PK, Pale Kings. It's a white boy gang. I am, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not in it. They are branched off from the Latin Kings. Okay, it happened in the 90s, Pennsylvania prison, Latin King gave the green light to the white boys from Pittsburgh to start a gang called Pale Kings. Um, white boy gang, it's a, it's it's the it's the white boy gang in Pittsburgh, basically. It's a jail gang, though. It's a jail gang. In the streets, they're not really active. In jail, they're more active. I can't really say in the streets I see them doing much. And, you know what I mean? If anyone's catching feelings about it, I don't care. I'm cool with a lot of them. I got respect for a lot of them. Um, but they're just not really active in the street. You hear their name in jail. Um, anyway, so dude's in the pill king, all right? We're in prison. We're down Western. The wall before it closed. Um, and everyone that wasn't supposed to know knew that I was the dude that had Suboxins in the jail, all right? I was one of the main dudes that ran the Suboxin little drug ring we had going on i mean i'm just keeping it a real anyone down there will tell you that you heard the uh recording right there um you know whatever it doesn't matter now i was doing my thing through visits with 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 girly and it don't matter now yeah, i mean that's the past it's over with um it ain't like they won't they can come do anything to me now anyway i was getting it i was living comfortable you know um money wise so like i said everyone that wasn't supposed to know knew that I was busting a move every visit, all right, so, this dude comes to me one day, all right, he goes, Iggy, man, M mind you, I just met him in prison, don't know him from the streets, but he's a white boy from Pittsburgh, he's a white boy from my city, so, you know, uh, of course, I, of course, I'm cool with all of them, he comes to me at my cell, comes right to my cell door, he says, Iggy, I need to do a favor, I need you to do me a favor, I'm like, what's up, bro? He's like, listen, Melcy got in his debt with the Crips. They they swung it over to me. A gang member got in debt with the Crips, and the Crips put it on him. The Crips told him that if you don't pay us one Suboxone, one Suboxone strip, we're going to kill you. 
And he's at my cell. He's like, bro, they're gonna kill me, bro. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. Will you? Pl here's what. Here's what he wanted me to do. He said, will you please give the shot caller one suboxone strip, and I'll send you the fifty dollars Western Union. He said, I'm getting transferred tomorrow, though. I promise you, Iggy, I'll get it done. I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, I don't know, bro. What you mean you're getting transferred? Like, what do you mean you're getting transferred tomorrow? Like, I'm like, like, come on, man. I don't know about that. And he's like, Iggy, on everything I love, man, I would never, I would never, ever do that to you. Please just clear my debt for me. I will pay you. The shot caller from the Crips then comes up to my cell. Now we were in an old old style jail, okay, where there was where there was tiers five high on each side, five high tiers went up like this, all right, like you could literally get thrown off the tier and hit the ground, like they went up five high. Oh oh, it was an old style jail. If anyone knows, what I mean, it's, it was like a dungeon. It's like a dungeon set, no cameras and shit. It's very very oldest jail in Pennsylvania. Built in 1848. That's how old this jail was. There was no events in the cells. No ventilation. No window. No way. You don't have a window outside. You're just in a brick. It, put it like this. This was a, pr a prisoner. War for prisoners. Prisoner of war jail for the civil war. That's how this jail was built. So they come up from each side. You know, it's a balcony. It's only about this wide. Okay. They come up from each side on him like this at my cell door. They both they're both ready like well, yo what's up what are you gonna do like you gonna get us the money or not? And I'm like I knew I knew the crip shot caller. I had done business with him before. So I'm like twin twin. I'm like hold up. I I said twin what's going on bro? Like what happened with him? What's going on with them? He he said Melcy put a got a debt. You know what I mean it goes on the next ranking of the Pill Kings. The highest rank has to pay it. Um, cause the dude was in the hole right and he was getting transferred. They owed him $100. Once the balking ship would be $100. I was letting dudes send me 50 and clearing his debt. I was giving him half off and clearing his debt so they didn't kill him. So I'm like, Twin, what's going on? He told me what's up. I was like, listen, man, I got it. I got it. I'll take care of it, bro. Let him go. Let him live. They're ready to cut dude's head off like right there. Like, it, it, like I saved his life. I saved this dude's life. Dude that you heard right there, I saved his life. All right, so Twin's like... Iggy, man, don't get involved in this if you can't pay it. If you take this debt, it's on you now. But he basically was saying to me that if I take that debt and I don't pay it, they're going to kill me or, you know what I mean, poke me up or whatever. And I'm not even affiliated with that gang. I'm not even affiliated. I'm not even Pill King. You know what I mean? I'm just me. In the jail, I do me, you know what I mean? I was like a single dude, like I do me. But it was a white boy from Pittsburgh, from my city, so. I, wa I wasn't going to let him, I wasn't going to do him like that, basically. I had it. I said, twin, I got it, bro. Bing, 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 pulled it out right there. Threw in a piece of paper, folded up the yellow paper. Gave him a strip right at the door, right in front of dude. He goes, Iggy, man. Iggy man, he goes, Iggy man, thank you man, I love you brother, I got so much respect for you, I got you, my girl will be calling your girl, send her $50, send her 50, my girl will be calling your girl, I'm gonna send her $50, hey Rice, make sure that money hits my motherfucking pockets, Iggy, I got you, I never do you like that, right, right, remember, remember that, remember he said that, right, he said that, he said that, right, yo, Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Got you out of it, and you fucked me over. How the fuck you over? Cause you were supposed to send me money, though. Bro, Matter of fact, forget that, though. Right, right, forget that. Hold up, hold up. What was the deal, though, bro? That you sent me the money, and I cleared that debt for you, and they, they, was, they was letting you go. I know, yeah. Yeah, you ain't sent yeah. it to me, bro. Because he said you never paid it. Oh, I everything. paid you, mate. I paid him right in front of you. You, you believe that shit, man? I saved this dude's life. And he didn't send me the money. And then I seen him on the street. I seen him on the street at McDonald's yesterday morning. What's up, bro? What you think, I'm sweet? You think I'm sweet? Oh, you think I'm going to clear this debt for you? You ain't going to send me my money? Oh, what you think, I'm sweet? All right. Well, just so you know, I had to cut that off. I got that money. All right. He paid it right there. Now, here's the lesson, guys. Here's what... 
you don't do if you're me in a situation. If you go to prison and you're ever in the situation, one, don't get in debt. Bloods and Crips run most jails. They're, they're the deepest. They have the most people, usually. Don't get in debt with them. That's the dumbest thing you could do is get in debt with a blood gang, Crip gang, Gangster Sable gang, Latin King gang. They will cut your head off, so don't do it. Don't get in debt in jail. That is the number one thing you don't want to do in prison is get in debt. Don't If you can't gamble, if you're degenerate, don't do it. Gamble right. If you play poker, play poker right. Don't get in debt because shit will pop off of that too. I got mad poker stories like poker. Oh my God. Poker was my bed. Like I got a lot of stories with poker. Don't get in debt. And two, learn a value lesson from me. If you were in my shoes in that situation, don't get involved. You, you, he's a white boy from the city. You got to tell him, bro, you got to handle that, bro. You got to handle that with your people. You got a gang full of white boys, a gang full of Crips, and you're getting me in the middle of it. Th that was my mistake. I shouldn't have put myself in that position. I didn't want him to die. I didn't want him to get stabbed right there in front of me, so I paid it off for him. He ain't give me the money. He got transferred to another jail. I see him on the streets. We handle it right there. But... The lesson B is don't do what I did. You got time right there. If you can't pay me right now, I can't help you, brother. If you can't pay me right now, I can't help you, brother. You know what I mean? Another lesson to learn is don't sell drugs in prison like I was. I got a lot of stories. I'll come, I'll come back with more stories about it. That, Yeah, I lived comfortable at the same time I didn't because I had a lot of heat on me from security. Security's like the cops in prison. They're like the feds inside the jail. They watch you. I had a lot of heat from security, I had snitches telling on me, I had haters, and I had people who wanted to take my place, and then I had motherfuckers who wanted favors. Everyone wants a favor. Yo, can I get a front? Can I get this? Can I get that? Put a lot of heat on me. I'm not in no gang. I'm by myself. All I really had all that had really had my back was my celly. And my celly was a go-getter, though. You know what I mean? He was one of them dudes that'll put it like that. I was cool with dude because I was in with his people because I was looking out. Of course, I look out for my celly. So, like, I was cool. But it still brought a lot of heat. My celly got transferred. Like, a lot of things happened from selling Suboxone in prison. Um, I had a lot, a lot of drama come my way. Um, I never got out. I had a max out. You know what I mean? I had a max out. That tells you right there I got in trouble. You know what I mean? I pissed hard. I had dirty yarns. I was doing too much, man. Like, I was in the mix. And everything that you could do in prison, I was in the mix. I was doing too much. And that's another lesson right there to be learned is, you don't want to do too much, man. You don't want to be in the mix of everything because I'm telling you, it brings haters, it brings snitches, and it brings people who want your spot. So, lesson be learned, man. Don't ever clear someone's debt unless they can pay you right there. All right, much love, man. Iggy MB579, Department of Correction, Pennsylvania. Ain't no joke. We got more to come. One love.